Hey folks, welcome to this demo video. I wanted to create a segment in Strava to help folks who are new to Strava and might be interested in creating a segment from one of your runs. Uh, so uh, you see here on the uh, screen uh, my user profile for Strava. Uh, if you're on Strava, feel free to, to look me up and, and I guess uh, uh, friend me on there. That'd be pretty cool to, to connect with you. Uh, so this is my profile. Um, some pictures that I've taken recently while out on Strava up at the top. Hopefully this looks familiar to you guys. Uh, so I'm going to create a segment today from a run that I did this past weekend. Um, I was up in the mountains and had some great um, runs. And so uh, we'll create one from this getting acclimatized to 7,000 feet uh, plus run. Uh, there's a segment in this particular run that I was interested in creating a segment on on my own, and I thought I would create a demo video to show you how to do it. So we have open here on the screen the actual run uh, from this past weekend. You can see the title up here at the top, the description. Uh, if you scroll down, you can see the actual map of the run, uh, the miles over on the left. Hopefully, this is orienting you, and um, you know you'll, you'll be familiar with the user interface here. So then you can go up to, uh, you can see segments here. If there are segments already listed in the run, there was one that someone had created. Uh, you can see that I finished seventh overall on uh, this uh, Mount Lemon Highway climb. Uh, but I want to create a new one today. So let's show you how to do that. So if you go over to uh, the wrench feature, click on it. You'll see up at the top, create segment. So click on that. It'll bring up the screen here with the actual map of the run. Um, probably the most important things to point out is that there's a starting point, the green dot, and, and, and the finishing point, the, the red dot. And you can move these things by clicking and dragging. And then you can see corresponding uh, down here uh, on the actual map itself, uh, it's creating the segment um, based on where you place the starting point in your run. Uh, so, for example, in this particular segment that I'd like to create, uh, I'm going to create a run or a segment from this lake down here in the bottom uh, left-hand corner, Rose Canyon Lake, up to the Catalina Highway, or Mount Lemon Highway, uh, as it's known as well. Um, really beautiful run. If you're ever in Tucson, you can check it out. Uh, the neat thing about creating a segment is you can zoom in uh, to get as close as, as you would like to see with the screen by clicking on the plus and minus the zoom in feature over here on the, on the bottom right. Um, so if you're looking for specific landmarks, um, you know, you could zoom in or use the uh, um, satellite imagery, which is kind of handy. Um, so if you're looking for, you know, prominent buildings or telephone poles or something to to give you a, a, a waypoint when you're creating your segment, um, you can use the satellite feature. Um, in this particular case, because the run was all up in the mountains, uh, the most prominent features are the actual highway where I'm going to have my endpoint uh, and the lake down at the bottom of the uh, of the run. So Rose Canyon Lake. Again, I'm going to create the segment uh, from the lake up to the highway. So how do you do it? You use the, the cursor to uh, Set your starting point, which is the green icon. And you can see I ran down to the lake and then came back up. I'm going to start it right about here since a lot of folks uh, tend to start their run there, or I'm imagining they might. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how many people actually have uh, used Strava for this particular segment, which we can talk about in a minute. And then I want to set the endpoint as well. So rather than have it way up there on the highway, I'm going to have it right at the end of the highway or right where the highway um, enters the park at Rose Canyon and again you can kind of zoom in using the zoom feature um, and there you have it so I've created the first part of the segment and then you have to save it and do all sorts of um, naming things which I'll walk through here in a moment uh, as well so this segment extends from the lake Rose Canyon Lake north of Tucson up to uh, the entrance to the Rose Canyon um, campground and, and park area. So the green start, red finish. 
Um, so at this point, I'm ready to move forward. So I would click Next. Now that I've, you know, set up the the segment itself, it's going to check for duplicates and ask you if you want to make your segment private. Um, most people create segments to share. Strava is a, a you know a, a pretty social uh, software program, and so. But if you want to keep it private, you can certainly do that. That is the default. Uh, so if you want to make it public, you need to uncheck the Make This Segment Private um, box. But you need to name it. Uh, some people get really creative with these things. I'm just going to call mine Rose Canyon Lake to uh, Catalina Highway. So once you've titled it uh, and made it public, then you can create the segment. And it's got it stored here, as you can see in the map, from what I created on the previous screen. So now I click Create. And you get this message that reads, Congrats, your new segment has been created. So the segment has been created at this point. Uh, if I go up here to Segments, um, should show it. Uh, at any rate, the, the, the segment has been created. It may sometimes it takes a couple of minutes for it to load. I'll go back over to overview. Um, click refresh. And the segment is created. It'll take a minute or two for it to actually show up. But that's essentially how you create a segment. Um, and then it should show up in your results um, as well as in your segments. So there it is. So it just took about a minute or so to, to load. So don't um, freak out if you don't see it instantly. Uh, but there's the segment that I created. Uh, it'll also begin to populate the leaderboard. Um, I'd be surprised if there's anybody in there right now because it often takes a few minutes, maybe even a couple of hours, for it to go back through, for Strava to go through all the data that people have uploaded. Um, but for right now, mine is up there. Um, I'm sure there's probably a couple of other, other Strava users who have uploaded this particular segment um, or have run that segment, and so it'll show up in the uh, leaderboard. But it usually takes about um, an hour or two for, for Strava to go back through all the user data of anybody who's ever... Uh, run on that particular segment. At any rate, I hope this was helpful to you. That was uh, a video on how to create a segment in Strava.